Hey guys, and welcome back to Pimp My Wi-Fi, the show where we come out to you to fix your terrible internet connections. Today on the show, Tom Syndicum, a much anticipated episode, and he has the unfortunate problem of owning far too many houses, and he wants to share the internet betweenst. Did I say that out loud? Get the whole and then that's being shared out into my garden? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so it's important to set the baseline that around two years ago, we actually visited Tom's house and overhauled his entire network with a five access point Unify system. Now, if you didn't actually catch that video, it's a really entertaining watch. I'd recommend you do so. We'll put the card up there and it's down in the description below that like button. Now, specifically today's episode, what we're gonna talk about today is actually in a vlog over on my vlog channel. So you can go and watch that if you wanna see a bit more of an IRL version, but this right here is the network version to talk about the specifics of what I actually did. So Tom basically approached me with the simple task of sharing his 500 megabyte leased line, which currently resides at his main house, over to literally his neighbor's house, or I should say now his house that he's just bought. He basically wants to share his internet from the main house to this new house. Right now, currently, Tom has an ethernet cable, which is literally going across his drive to the new house. Today, we wanna to get rid of that cable and do it wirelessly. I wanna start this video out by talking about the equipment that I'm gonna load up into the car to take down to Tom's. Now, the main device. What's gonna be sending the internet connection from property one to property two? That is a device called the Unified Building to Building Bridge. And as it says in the title, it bridges buildings together wirelessly. These were a really, really cool device which actually used some technology in the 60 gigahertz range which can go up to 1000 megabits per second if the dishes are configured and align correctly. One of the things Tom said to me was he wanted to get the entirety of his 500 megabit a second lease line over at the new house. Those speeds don't come easy, so 60 gigahertz is our best friend. These units are actually a new release from Ubiquiti and they have this really cool LED indicator light that surrounds the entire unit. And this can actually be used not just cosmetically, but actually to line the units up. They will light up red if the signal's bad and blue if the signal is good. Now, obviously, Tom's main house, like I've already said, is decked out with a five access point Unify system, but we need some access points for the new property. Specifically, Tom said he wants coverage inside and outside. So for the coverage inside, we're gonna use a Unify access point, the Wi-Fi 6 long range. Like it says in the title, this is a Wi-Fi 6 access point, so it's gonna have around 600 megabits per second throughput. For the system in the garden, we're using the mesh system from Ubiquiti. This is a little antenna system with little ears, I like to call it, and this can be literally cable tied to any sort of pole, and obviously it's waterproof too. We're gonna need a few other bits as well, some miscellaneous bits from the garage, like a big reel of Cat6 cable, as well as some network switches for either end, the new house and the old house. Specifically, this flex switch. I really like these because they're pretty inexpensive and it has five ports of which all of them are PoE. If you're out of the loop, PoE means power over ethernet, which basically means you can run an ethernet cable and have both the power and data go along that one cable. Really useful for if you're mounting devices outside for example. So with all of the equipment out the way, I headed over to Tom's. And when we got there, we had a coffee. The first thing we did was go up to Tom's bedroom because we thought this was gonna be the best place to mount our exterior access point to send the signal over to Tom's house. We soon realized that his wardrobes were in the way and we'd have to drill through them. And I didn't really feel like making that much mess. So unfortunately, but fortunately, we had to go for our plan B. I remember that two years ago when we went out to Tom's house to install all of his Wi-Fi access points in the main house, I actually put one outside because he requested Wi-Fi near his hot tub. And inside of, well, this little hobby box outside is one of our outdoor access points which has a perfect cable going back to the main server room where the internet lives. So we've already got our pre-run cable coming from inside the main house to outside near the hot tub. The only problem is we've only got one cable and it's already running that access point. 
I like to set everything up in what I call a test bench environment, which gets pretty much everything working just laid out on the floor. I did this before we took all the uh, equipment outside to drill it up on the wall. This is where our first of two switches comes in. I mentioned I really like this switch because it has PoE out on all of its ports. However, this little thing can also be powered by PoE too. So basically what we're doing with this is we're gonna put this in the hobby box outside. We're gonna plug into it with the cable that's there and then we can plug the access point that was already there into this and the sender which is going to then send it over to the new house. Once I've gone ahead and installed this I have my lovely assistant Toby run me a cable over to the apex of the house so we could go ahead and mount our exterior access point. Once Toby had ran the cable on the exterior of the house, I went ahead and tidied up and put everything back into the hobby box, so that includes our new switch and the original access point that was there. And then I went and installed the building to building bridge. Well, the first side of it anyway, the sending unit, if you like. And this is living on the exterior of Tom's swimming pool. It then points over to the new house, which is then gonna receive the signal. And then once that's done, we pretty much wandered over to the new house to start all of our work there. Now all of this stuff is really, really super simple to set up because it's done under the Unify ecosystem. And the Unify ecosystem, well it is what it says on the tin. It sort of unifies everything into one single place or web interface or even an app uh, if you'd like to use it that way too. You can go ahead and see the actual quality of the wireless link, uh, which is absolutely great. So you can see how much throughput you're getting over that one connection. And because this is literally a stone's throw, I think I measured it at like 45 meters or something, when we install the new dish, we should have 100% signal. And that is exactly what we had. I drilled up the receiving unit on the exterior of Tom's house, ran the cable down into the new lounge, and off we were. We were connected to the broadband connection at the main house. Just like that, really simple 500 meg. And then our next job is simply to tack in all of the cables and use another network switch inside of the new house to power both the receiving unit and the new access points, as to which I've already mentioned we've got two. We've got a Wi-Fi 6 unit which is going to live in the house and provide coverage in there, and then the little mesh unit which we have to drill another cable outside to mount on the drain pipe out here. Now I know all of this stuff seems absolutely crazy. When someone approaches you and says, hey Alex, can I get my internet wirelessly from location A to location B, it seems like a job on but I absolutely love Ubiquiti and if you've been a fan of me for a long time you'll know why they make doing all of these things super super easy and if you picked all of the stuff up that I've got down there below that like button you'd be able to do it yourself just by following the user interface because it really really is user friendly it's sort of like a prosumer level knowledge is what I would say you would need. You don't need to be like a networking professional to do this, so don't let any of that deter you. I literally shared Tom's internet from one house to the other in a matter of about two hours visiting him down in Manchester, and he was really, really grateful for it. Not subscribe to this guy, all right? And if yes. you're a YouTuber and you need tech stuff doing, this is your man. Head right. here first. This is your man. Thank you so much. Like, right, you've changed my life. So, with that being said, Tom, thanks for having us over. Guys, if you have anybody, any YouTubers you know, or anybody in the internet space who's struggling with internet, and you think, you know, Alex could go down, or Tepflo can go down and make a video on them, let them know. Let us know, and we can try and get it sorted. But yeah, with that being said, guys, this has been the uh, like fifth episode of Pimp My Wi-Fi. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>